it's kind of funny watching a movie from 1988 where at the time the special effects were considered state of the art and <laughs> watching them now they're laughable Like, they are laughable. Especially, like, to create, uh, like, Kevin Pollock's character, Rule, and the other, like, little fairy-type character. It's just, oh my god, it's, it's bad. But at the time, that was considered state-of-the-art. So Willow 88 is a classic. It is. Warwick Davis, it was his first major movie role. Like, he, he did some things before that, but they were either supporting, or they were cameos, or he was in enough makeup and costume where you don't even know it's him. So this is his first starring role. And, you know, at the time, he was great for some for somebody his age and for a little person. I don't know the correct terminology these days. It's hard to keep track of everything. For someone like him to get a starring role like that in 88, that's huge. And even watching it now, that's huge. Because you don't even see that nowadays, really. You don't really see little people and dwarves and... I don't want to say midget because I, I think that's an offensive term now. So just, just little people. You don't, you don't really see them in starring roles. And it's, it's a shame. So back then and even today, that was huge. And, you know, he was great back then. He really was. But the highlight of the original Willow is without a doubt Val Kilmer's Mad Mardigan. That was peak Val Kilmer. He's suave. He's sarcastic. Like, he's just, that was Val Kilmer at his absolute best. There's nothing really too, too special about the story itself. It's this pretty standard fantasy where, you know, shit is hitting the fan and good guys go on this journey to save this person or that person, save the world, save the kingdom, and they do it they they win so it's the same old song and dance really um i mean maybe back in 88 i was two years old in 88 by the way uh so maybe back then it was like more exciting but watching it now it's like i've seen this a million times before that's not to say i didn't enjoy willow 88 i did it's a fun movie it takes the art of magic seriously and it turns it into i mean it doesn't turn it into fun because magic is fun in general so you know it's just fun it, it makes it it makes it more fun because it, it brings it to the big screen and the effects again state of the art in 88 today not so much so it looked great back then if i were to grade this on like the eight, a 1988 scale. Like if I was doing this in 88, though there was no real way to like share this kind of time, type of stuff in 1988 unless you like recorded it on a VHS player and brought it to everybody's house. But if like, if I, if I graded it on the standards of the time, I personally would give Willow an A because it it's an, over, it's an overall very fun movie. The acting you know, sometimes over the top, but it is good. The effects for the time were fantastic. And the story for the time was great. If I'm grading this on like a today scale, like watching it with like today's special effects and acting and storytelling in mind, it's, it's not a great grade. It really isn't. It, and even though I was two years old when it came out and I probably saw it for the first time i don't know I, I was in the single digits i was definitely and i no doubt loved it so to me it's it's nostalgic because <laughs> i sort of grew up on the movie i'm gonna give willow 88 um yeah i'm gonna give it a i'm gonna give it a b we're gonna go solid b did you enjoy the review? Make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to get notified when more reviews go live. Feel free to leave a comment to discuss your thoughts on the movie or show, and I will see you next time.